In the games app under the library section, there's now an option to sort games by size. And this is in addition to name or recent. It should prove useful if you want to clear storage or identify large storage games quickly. The update also brings support for controller based navigation and real time challenge score updates while playing, which is useful for gamers. When it comes to CarPlay, this update now allows you to disable pinned messages in CarPlay, giving you the ability to restore the older classic interface face if you prefer that simpler look while driving. For iPhone users in Japan, this update lays the foundation for replacing the default voice assistant triggered by the side button from Siri to a third party assistant. So you can set something like Gemini or Alexa, giving users a choice at the system level for the first time. The associated iPad OS 26.2 restores some multitasking flexibility and allows you to drag and drop apps from the app library or dock or even spotlight into view or slide over, which makes multitasking management on iPad more fluid. The last thing to highlight are the CVE entries or the security patches that Apple will release alongside this update. So keep an eye out on this Apple security release to find out what Apple has fixed. That's it for me when it comes to iOS 26.2. If you want to see what's changed when it comes to other updates such as Mac OS 26.2, TVOS, watchOS, among others, check out my full videos.